Women in Northwest Florida will soon have a place to recover from life controlling issues like drug and alcohol addiction. News Channel 7's Marissa Dure shows us a new addition is breaking new life into a place that has a dark past. Chrome in Jackson County sees many people who are in need of recovery. And it's not just men who are dealing with these life struggles, it's women too. Chrome will be using three buildings on the Dozier property to house single women, and they'll be using eight buildings on the Chrome property right across the street to house women and children. Chrome currently only houses men on their property. However, with the growing demand, facilities for women are also needed. Uh, we're going to hold 15 women in each building with three staff. Um, so we'll be able to have around 45 women with nine staff here. These will be for the single women in Chrome. Chrome staff say about a mile away from the Dozier property is where the other women who have children will be housed. So we're going to have eight cottages that are going to be built on the back of Chrome right now. Chrome staff say the idea is holistic healing as a whole family. Jackson County, Calhoun County, really the Panhandle area is the highest per capita for meth in the entire state of Florida. And the need is huge. It is going to cost around $300,000 per building at the Dozier property and $25,000 to renovate the eight housing units. All of the labor that's going to be happening here at Dozier and over there at Chrome um, is going to be done by the men that are at Chrome right now. We're going to utilize those skills and to help keeping the cost down and, and completely uh, renovating these buildings. Chrome staff say those who are in recovery aren't just from Jackson County. Within the last couple months, more than 50% of our population is actually from Bay County. Um, so a lot of what we're seeing is this is not just a Jackson County area. Chrome has a recovery center for those dealing with addiction, but is also more. It's, it's more than just drug addiction. I mean, it's drugs, it's alcohol, it's people that are dealing with homelessness, people that are dealing with loss, with abuse. Um, sex trafficking is really huge amongst women. The hope is to have the woman and children facility open by the end of this year and the single women facility open by 2025. In Jackson County, Marissa Jure, News Channel 7. The current Chrome facility is revitalized is the revitalized Mariana Middle School that was closed.